Hello, I have returned. <laughs> Got myself a snack, looked outside, saw that the snow was coming right up to my patio, which is unusual because typically it's warm enough near my building to not have the snow go right up to my door. So that's impressive. This, this is a rather cold snowstorm. I might go for a bicycle ride um, if I... Maybe tomorrow. I'd love to try riding my bicycle on the ice. <laughs> try out the electric motor on this stuff. This court is nice and warm and has windows. didn't notch his floor joist, of course no one wants to be near it. That's fair. God, that thread. That thread is always going to haunt me. It's too bad I'm going to get banned from Twitter because I linked my co-host account now. Look at the racist piss baby with his very brand, like his very red brandy. Why is it brandy? Because wine would not cause flames to, uh, like flames to appear whenever it hits it. Like wine doesn't have enough alcohol, but like 60% brandy is a real thing, and you totally could throw it at a flame and cause it to uh, catch a, you know, catch on fire. So, yeah, that's why he's just drinking non-stop brandy. <coughs> and brandy der is derived from red wine, so... Actually, wait, is brandy derived from red wine? Pretty certain it is. Yeah, the fire would go out, so it has to be brandy. Although, I don't think you'd get brandy in bottles like that, but who knows what Victorian England was like. What is that stuff exactly? Laudanum? 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 How do you say that? Laudanum? That's a strange word.
Tincture of opium? That doesn't sound ideal. But the queen is dead. Oh well, it's Santa Claus, everybody. This is a Christmas game now. Gotta get in early with the racism, hey, Van Zeeks. Lord Von Racist. Is this asshole again? people on the stand. Five Bob. I miss having that tool. Basically, I think five bob is, yeah, it's, 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 a uh, it's five shillings. No, we have different, yeah, five shillings. Um, we have different jurors on there as well. We have one new one. I missed the calculator. What's five shillings today? It's, it would be a substantial amount of money, if I remember correctly. I think there's one person on the jury who's different. Twenty five P before inflation. Yeah, what is that in uh, after inflation? pounds in today's money so you know for for its time it wasn't a small chunk of change that's quite a it's not that much in the grand scheme of things now that I think about it because 38 pounds works out to about 60 60 ish Canadian dollars and say you worked eight hours work um, minimum wage is what 15 16 dollars an hour here so it's not that it's you're basically making half of minimum wage.
think minimum wage is higher than that, but still. So he was poisoned with strychnine? Good old rat poison. You can survive strychnine poisoning. Hmm. Was there like a puddle on the floor or something? Looks like there was a puddle on the floor. Well, considering how often this man is tortured in his it's not a surprise that he feels like the space he lives in is haunted. Conclusive point. All right. What's conclusive, buddy? Who brought in the tea? What did he say it was? Yeah, so he brought in the tea. So Van Zeeks can't just rush to having a, um, um, he can't just rush towards uh, a conclusion. Hey, Genie. We're just in time for the trial of a poisoning case, no less, with our favorite cat man, Soseki Natsume.
Yeah, the tea did it. Personally, would not want to succumb to strychnine poisoning. Is this strychnine or strychnine? Oh, Genie, no, sweetie, don't. Is he allowed to bring his chips into the courtroom? Are you allowed to eat food in the courtroom? I get bet you the answer is no. It's a, it is strict nine? Okay. Or strict mean. Let's see the jury. Yeah, the woman right there is new. So there's one new person. Let's do this. Let's have our first cross-examination. Hold it! It's like... I don't want to do a dab on camera. I can't say, I can't do a dab for you all. I'm sorry. I tried. Oh dear. the heated discussion over. All of those words started with N. Yeah, we all want Von Racist to shut up. Fucking vampire across from us. Hold it. Ooh, 
Who was stronger, Romeo or Juliet? This is so weird. What a weird... This is so strange. Question, do we have that photo? We do. There's a puddle there. Well, it isn't a murder trial anymore, it's a poisoning trial. Because of the lighting inside the apartment. No, oh, excuse me. actually the case of strychnine <clears throat> like it takes a while for it to actually kick in that sounds brutal this game is all about poison all about poisoning. It's just, it's everybody's gonna die. It's just gonna be either by fire or by poison. No sample could be obtained from testing. Let me 
Let's check something here. What's the evidence that I have here? Yeah, but he wants to get, he wants to be right on this. Let's go through each of these. One thirty AM. know what this is. Which one is it though that I hit this on? Maybe this? Objection. Yeah. Cause like he had the ingestion was at one like the poisoning was at 1 30, so you would have drank it at one. He's claiming he left it at one. They had consumed the hot tea together. I love how Ryo, Ryo just grabs the sword. He's like, just rests it right on the, um, right on the handle. fish.
Oh no, all the chips just flew off into the, uh, into the courtroom. Cannot wait for him to, uh... Let's see, is he gonna drink it or is he gonna throw it? Oh, he crushes it with his hand. Cold tea is this. Sorry. Cold tea that isn't made from tea that was intentionally brewed hot is just dreadful. I'm sorry. There's. It's so dreadful to have your tea go cold on you. Who's the key player? Don't tell me it's the him. Oh no, it's this this dude. Oh, it's this dude. One that was apparently poisoned. Although you couldn't tell because he doesn't really have a brain. <clears throat> What's he doing here? Well, apparently he survived. He got poisoned once. He's better now. It's all good now, though. It's all good. I lived. <clears throat> I died once, but I got better. Janet's an amazing translator. Like I, I look forward to seeing uh, whatever Ace Attorney game she does in the future. I 
cannot wait for Shamspear to speak in Elizabethan English. And then nobody in this room is going to really understand him. Oh, who's this bloke? Elizabethan English is just messed up. So, <clears throat> I don't particularly enjoy Elizabethan English. <laughs> I know some people do, but I don't. Altamont Gas Company. Altamont. What does the word Alta mean? Hi. So, like, you're just saying Hi Mountain Gas Company? A weird name. Old is another way of describing it. What's the deal with the gas man? I love how his name is Meterman. As lucidly as possible. God, I hate this man. idea of how he could have gotten poisoned. What a 
weirdo. Yeah, why? Why would you do this? I just realized he looks like a bee. Bee movie, but every time the word objection is said, it speeds up. Give me a while before that actually occurs. Eastern art of jujitsu. God, I hate the way he's dropping so many letters in his pronunciations. And there's that too. Yeah, where's the three hours go? Where, where did the three hours go? say again see so he, he finished his cold tea
it! There's no real difference between dinner and supper, per se. I guess you would say a dinner. I guess the only way I can see dinner and supper being any different is like dinner is formal. This man is, like, special. That's the best way to describe him. Special. And infuriating. I actually think that this is where I'm going to talk about the soap. Also the British way. Disappointed. Yeah, you should always drink ninety five degrees Celsius water. It's perfectly fine. She would know how to make tea. I wouldn't question her. Like, I would hate to make her disappointed in me. If she tells me I'm drinking tea incorrectly, I'm going to listen to her. Man is twenty three, everybody. I 
I'd happily let her teach me how to make tea. It's like, all right, I don't want Sasato upset with me. I'm just gonna let her teach me. It's the safest and kindest thing to do with her. He, he, he's not as bad as, um, as the, uh, failed, uh, military man. Because, like, if I remember right correctly from the last game... What's his name again? Yeah, John Garadev. <clears throat> like, he never made it past, what, like, Lieutenant or something? To do, drink more tea. I'm probably going to make some tea after I finish streaming. It's cold today. I only make coffee on weekdays and when I'm working. Hold it! Objection! London was a fairly cosmopolitan city, even by 1900 standards. I'm pretty certain that these are not the only three Japanese people in all of London. Oh, it's time to do this crap again. Oh, we're gonna be using this mechanic, aren't we? I'm not gonna lie, I like this mechanic. Originally, it kind of bothered me, but it's genuinely fun. Sorry, Mr. Playfair. <clears throat> what was his last name? I like how we have no names for the jurors in, uh, this time around. We know that's Mr. Playfair. See, she's Guilty. different in this one. Guilty. Hanging jury today. My learned. 
didn't say it. He didn't say the racist thing. We still have the semination, whatever the hell it's called again. Appreciate the spelling of encyclopedia there. Yeah, the summonation defense or examination. Or summation examination, sorry. Semination. Listen, I, I, I realize what I had I realize what I said. Summation def examination. Good lord. I can't say that to save my life, all right? Oh well. Why am I not surprised? Oh my god, we just have, we've proven that this works. I love how we come back full circle to the whole, well, this is a waste of time. Summation. Yeah, that's fair. Summation examination. Summation. All right, let's see what they have to say. This is probably one of my favorite background tracks to this game. How many birds did she murder for that fan? Alright, let's let's go through this tutorial. Even though I have played this. I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry, I remember how to do it. I remember how to do this. It was one of my favorite mechanics in this game. I'm going to not bother with the tutorial. This is where I find out that they slightly changed it in the second game. Isn't this his third case in this? No, it is his second case in the game. I guess you're right. He, this would be his second case.
Look at that smug idiot off to the left. Hold it! This is his third case, isn't it? Yeah, no, wait, this is his third case. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, because I was just thinking about McGilded was the first person, then it was uh, Soseki on the second, and I guess now Soseki uh, on the third as well. Okay, he needs to make his five bob. reason would he have to lie yeah the first the Irishman being the gilded splendid logic That's not racist at all. Hold it! Listen, he's weird. Also, you have an awful bowl cut, I just realized. I really hate his haircut. I just noticed what his hair is like and it's now bothering the hell out of me. Oh no, why do I notice his hair? He's as, he's as intelligent as Wood. I wonder if she works for the gas company. Oh, of course. Ultimate gas is the best in the world. Yeah, the best gas you could ever get. Hydrocarbons are all different, and ours is the best.
We cra we have fine artisans making gas. You know what? You know what that would be? You just basically have a bunch of people sitting on like little seats with pipes hooked up to their butts. And just like feed them the most like all the beans possible and like, yep, we're making gas from the finest of artisans. To be fair, there is actually... Oh, look, it is a bee. Um, there is um, a type of gas that exists that um, isn't particularly great to use. Partisans? Oh, no. Uchi, why would you? Trying to delete it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to delete it for you. You made your bed. Second day in the row, he's been put pulled in. Finished last? What? Did Hyde Park have a racetrack at one point? He, he bet away his, my, his wife's savings. Like succumb to like carbon monoxide poisoning and like inadvertently consumed rat poison like that would be possible with this gas uh, situation yeah I finished last as a um, racehorse name is pretty funny This jury is just great. Yeah, I know how this works. Thanks, thanks, Sasato. figure this one out.
Objection! No, that wasn't it. She's like, there's no reason for him to lie, and I'm like, what are you talking about? So there's an example right there. So that's not it, apparently. game. All right, fine. Like, the two statements are so close. Oh, my God. Whatever. Whatever. All right. I thought I was on the right track by picking um, the one with the bonnet, but whatever. I'll accept this, even though I don't particularly like the choice. Whatever. Sure. Hmm. Gas man's honor. Remember the last time we talked about the honor of certain people? Like, you know, the uh, omnibus drivers? <clears throat> the omnibus is like, the omnibus driver or omnibus guild leader was like, no, none of our members would ever lie, blah, 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 blah. And then it comes out like, oh, I've been overcharging everybody by like one pence or something. That's your real name. This is where I find out his name is Bob Smith. And it's just like... Something has to, like, some, some sort of mass is on fire, right? So it has to have that ability. Like, you can't have a constant flame without some sort of source, right? And that source is going to be heavy. Come on, throw it, throw it. Throw it, please. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Throw that brandy like the petulant child you are.
<clears throat> if I meet anyone who speaks like this, I'm just gonna leave. What? Objection! Ooh, this is this is totally above board. This is totally above board. I really appreciate the um Yeah. Definitely appreciate this. this. She's so diplomatic. Gorgeous gas. Your penny is three, uh, three pence. So three pence gets you um, two hours of gas. Sasato is just like that sort of friend that everybody has and you, everybody should listen to. Zeke's. How many glasses do you go through in a single week? Like, you destroy all of these chalices.
Banzeek chose violence. Yeah, he's doing this because he's bored. I'd love to be retired at the age of 34 or whatever it is. Unfortunately, I passed the age of 34, which means that I'm, and I'm still working, so that means that I am not as successful as the racist asshole in this game. Yes, I try not be a racist person. <laughs> if I am being racist, I hope someone calls me out on it. No. Candles do not generate enough um, heat output to be useful as um, something to warm you up. Can I not have both just not be a racist bitch and, like, re be retired at the age of 34? Like, that seems like a pretty sweet deal, to be honest with you. An indestructible lock. Indestructible locks. Adding another lane to, uh, to a freeway always improves traffic. Can we see the meter? Look at the beater. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry.
You may not speculate. <laughs> um, there's, I don't need any, um, you need any help here. What I did once for another game is I put an MD5 in the chat and then I waited to see if I was right or not. She's like, I don't know if I want to speculate. It just trails off. Yeah, it might be it might be important to the case. It's really funny seeing this meter. Like, I only know historically of my mother having one as a kid. And she'd put, like, a couple a couple coins in the box as a kid. And, like, you know, my grandmother would be like, yeah, here's a couple of, you know, a couple of pence, go throw it in the machine. And it was for the electricity, not for the gas. Although I imagine there was a gas meter that worked that way as well. I asked my mother about that. She always mentioned the electrical meter that way, but she probably did use a gas meter. I think after I'm done this stream for today, I'm gonna message my mom and be like, so, <laughs> did you actually, have, I, you, I remember you telling me about the electricity being done this way. Did you have to do this with gas? Like, she moved here to Canada when she was 13? No, how old was my mom? Probably about 12, 11, 12, I think she was. Get thee to a nunnery? What? Your salary is tied to the collection of this dude's meter? What the hell? where the soap comes into play because the coins are the exact size. Yeah, that's pretty shitty actually. Hmm. 
I'm just thinking, every time he does that, the glass breaks and glass shatters everywhere, right? How does nobody, like, lose an eye? I think I know the answers to this. Objection. How is he doing the coin? Like, you can't get a coin through there. work. Oh, what's the answer to this? I wonder how it sort of knows what coin is what. I'm not gonna lie, I like doing that with my umbrella. This happened in Montreal um, with their parking meters, like this is in the early 2000s, where <clears throat> I want to say it was like Cote d'Ivoire, 
coins were being used instead of um, Canadian coins because they were the exact same dimensions, I think, as quarters. Pretty sure it was Cote d'Ivoire. I think we need to look at it differently. So they're basically not serviceable. And yet somehow the coin the gas is being cheated of. I think the coin is the right one. I think it's the coins. I think it's too, like we already said, like it's impossible to take it apart because it's been welded shut, which is a terrible design, but whatever. Um, I think it's the soap bars. Shape and size and their thickness. I think it's the soap bar. What's the soap bar here? Actually, I do want to talk about this. There we go. This is this is it's it's the size of the coin that matters. I think I know what he's doing. I think he's pouring the putting the soap, like, the soap coins in there. Because, like, here's the other thing I noticed. There's all this water there, so, like, he was probably taking the tea and pouring it through the meter, and then the hole in the bottom which is drain out all the soapy water. Like, that's a convoluted way to do it, I guess, but it would work. I think I know what I need to do. Ugh. 
protection. Oh my god, I gotta do this again? Got it! How much would be three pence to get, like... So it costs you one pound forty five to get two hours worth of heating. So just to heat your house for a whole day would cost you effectively let's just say for for the sake of simplicity, twenty pounds, twenty quid. Which means you're looking at about give or take 600 quid a month just to heat up your house. And that's in today's money. 600 quid if you were to just run the meter non-stop. And to put it into context... For Americans, that's seven hundred and thirty dollars a month. That's a lot of money to to run that meter. Highway robbery is definitely a good way to dis to describe the cost of the gas. I think the puddle on the floor, the wet spot, is going to be the, uh, the next one.
Yeah, this, okay, this makes more sense. It's not the soap that he's cutting out, it's just melting the ice. That makes sense. This is pretty clever, actually. I do appreciate the scam that's going on here. This is this is pretty damn clever. Because considering the thickness of the coin and everything, it shouldn't take long for it to melt at a reasonable temperature. That was your guess? Yeah, no, I was thinking he was cutting out the soap, but that actually costs money. This 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 is this makes a ton of sense. It's an actual thing people did. I'm not surprised. We have the evidence. That makes sense. Were the meters inside or outside, though? That's not what was happening. They were inside? Got it. I'm going to definitely um, message my mom after I'm done streaming. I want to ask her about this. Like, she grew up in the time where these things were still a thing. I'm not gonna lie, that dress kills. Like I don't go I don't look good in yellow, even though I have a yellow sweater here. Um, but god, that's a that's an impeccable dress. Too bad it has fur on it.
I think the fact that he has access to water to make ice says something. What if the meter man actually is responsible for the strychnine, strychnine, um, strychnine, sorry, um, getting into, um, his body? I love this one. It's like, what? There's a. I used to know the name of this track. I think it does. I think it's this one here. Furthermore, the only possible way the poison could have entered the victim's body was via the T. And then these are the other two points. There were no visitors to the room except for the accused. The young gasman's testimony, which we have no reason to doubt, has confirmed that. But... I think it's this. Yeah, I do know how it was left there. The teacups. The teacups have a stain on them. Or one of them does, excuse me. 
there's an easy way to do this. Because Natsume made the claim that he drank the tea really quickly. Take that! I don't understand, like, why is that not the answer? Did I take a penalty for this? Fuck. I was so confident in this answer, too. That's not it. Gotta go through this again, sorry. Objection! So now if I have, if I screw this up again. So it's not the photo, it's not that it's the soap. Take that. I'm trying to think about why the soap would be otherwise. Well the soap is poisonous. insane. Oh shit, he did actually, it does come from the soap. Crap, that actually, okay, so the, the teacup thing wasn't completely off base. It was just the wrong object.
I love this track so much. It's such a good track. Definitely think it's like one of the best uh, video game tracks ever. Good lord. Well, considering we already had the um, the tutorial case, right? This it makes sense that you'd have a two-day ca uh, case already. Dun dun dun. 